find, or ordered, has a b of positive integers for which one over a plus one over b equals three over two thousand and eighteen. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. A, B are positive integers and satisfy the given equation. Find all ordered paths A, B by removing the denominators. The given equation can be written as 2018 times a plus b equals 3ab as 2018 in the left hand side of the equation as a prime factor 1000 and nine. So at least one of A and B must be divisible by 1009. The problem can be divided into cases where both A and B are divisible by 1009, or one of A and B is divisible by 1009. Work out A and B for each case. Simplify the equation. We have 2018 times a plus b equals 3ab. 2018 can be written as 2 times. 1009 because 1009 is prime, so at least one of A and B must be divisible by 1009. If both A and B are divisible by 1009, let A equal 1009 P. B equal 
1009q. We have 2 times 1009 times 1009 times p plus q equals 3 times 1009 times 1009 pq which can be simplified to 2 times p plus q equals 3pq because pq is greater than or equal to p plus q. The integers p, q greater than or equal to 2. So 1 of p, q must be 1. So equation 2 has solutions p equals 1, q equals 2, or p equals 2, q equals 1. This is equivalent to AB equals 1009, 2018, 2000 and 18, 1000 and 9. If only A is divisible by 1009, let A equal 1009P. Equation 1 can be written as 2 times 1009 times 1009p plus b equals 3 times 1009pb which can be simplified to 2 times 1009p equals 3p minus 2 times b. Because 1009 doesn't divide B, it must divide 3P minus 2. Let 3P minus 2 equal 1009R. We have 1009R plus 2 equals 3p because 1009r plus 2 equals 3 times 336r plus r plus 2 is divisible by 3. So R is congruent to 1 mod 3. For I equals 1, 3P equals 1009 plus 2. So P equals 
337. Then we have A equals 1009 times 337. B equals 2P from equation three equals two times 337, which is equal to 674. For I equals four, three P equals 1,000 and nine times four plus two. So P equals 1,346. Then we have A equals 1,000 and nine times 1,346. B equals P over two from equation three. B equals 1,346 over two, which is equal to 673. For R is greater than four, from equation three, we have B equals 2P over 3P minus two times 1009. From equation four, we have 3p equals 1009 r plus 2. So b equals 2 over 3 times 1009 r plus 2 over 1009 r times 1009 equals 2 over 3 times 1009 plus 2 over r equals 2000 and 18 over three plus four over three R is less than 673 because B is an integer and B is less than 673. So B is less than or equal to 672. By rearranging this inequality, we have one over B is greater than or equal to one over 672 which is greater than three over 2,018. So when R is greater than four, there are no positive integers satisfying one over A plus one over B equals three over 2018.
So Fermi A is divisible by 1009. We have AB equals 1009 times 337, 674. 1009 times 1346, 673. Similarly, if only B is divisible by 1009, we have a b equals six hundred and seventy four one thousand and nine times three hundred and thirty seven six hundred and seventy three one thousand and nine times 1,346. In summary, the ordered pass AB equals 1,009, 2,018, 2,000 and 18, 1,009, 300, and 40,000, and 33, 600, and 74, 1,300, and 58,000, one hundred and fourteen, six hundred and seventy three, six hundred and seventy four, three hundred and forty thousand and thirty three, six hundred and seventy three. 1,358,114. One Think about the thought process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Such as this one, find all pairs of integers x, y, such that x cubed plus y cubed equals x plus y, all squared. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. If you have any mathematics questions of interest, you can write these in the comments section if you like. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.